All right, so I've been waiting for a case like this one. In my opinion, the case market is deprived of smaller form factor cases. This one helps fill that void. This is the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300P, a micro ATX PC case equipped with three fans, two of which are RGB, acrylic panels, and handlebars. This is a fun case and a pleasure to look at, so let's dive down to what this case has to offer. What's up guys, this is JD from JD Tech here and welcome back to the channel. The Q300P comes off as a unique case to me. It has quite a bit to offer and blends a lot of different elements into it nicely. So the entire transparent exterior is acrylic. If it was all glass, it would be a lot more expensive. It would be heavier and more fragile. Those combined traits would make this case less portable, which is the theme that's going on here as shown with the handlebars anyways. Sure, the acrylic isn't my personal favorite either, but for a case like this, it makes sense. Anyways, you've got a front panel, which is acrylic and removable as well as the top acrylic panel both of which have removable vents the vents are a bit weird they fall out really easily sometimes and other times they don't they kind of just sit in place and that's pretty much it they don't lock into place they have some minor dust filtration in them but other than that you can get away with just not having them installed as you can see there's four rubber coated handlebars which is awesome handlebars are sturdy and secured very well onto the frame the rubber coating also allows for it to be on almost any surface without damaging it or scuffing it up it can be removed via a hex wrench another nice thing about the handlebars is is that it elevates the case with great clearance underneath for optimal airflow to your power supply or if you decided to place your PC on carpet you would have a good distance between the carpet and your PSU inhaling it. The side window panel is really interesting to me. First of all it houses the front I.O. The I.O. has two USB 3.0 ports, power button, headphone jack, and mic jack, and a restart button. Nothing from the ordinary but a USB type C port would be nice. So what if you don't like the placement of the front I.O.? Well you can reposition it. You can reinstall it to any side of the frame by by removing a few screws and rearranging it around with the front IO cables. This is really neat and I really love this aspect about the case. Panel removal is standard. The four thumb screw design is necessary since you need to be able to reposition the side panel according to where the front IO is located. The rear panel removal is a bit excessive with a four thumb screw design, but this case is built to be portable so it makes sense to have it secured down. The Q300P also includes three 120 millimeter fans, which is awesome. Two of the three fans are RGB and can be controlled through a RGB header which is controlled through a RGB wire splitter that makes sense and you can plug it right into the RGB header on your motherboard. Fan mounting can be a bit weird since the metal frame has a bunch of perforated holes. You can probably manage a way to mount your fans any way you like but there are designated holes for fan mounting. There's a small icon around the hole which indicates where to place your fan. Fan clearance is pretty good. You can put two 120 or 140 fans on the front, two 120 millimeter fans up on top. You could probably get away with 140 millimeter fans up on top and one 120 millimeter fan in the rear radiator support is a bit different you can have a 240 millimeter rad up front or a 120 millimeter rad in the rear the top doesn't have proper clearance for radiator support there's only one dust filter that is located in the bottom which spans the entire length of the case it's held down with these rubber snap-ins and can be repositioned for your convenience if you want the vents i mentioned earlier have built-in dust filters kind of so that's why there aren't any other large dust filters present other clearances include a max cpu cooler height of 157 millimeters which should house most moderately sized air coolers a psu length up to 160 millimeters and a gpu length up to 360 millimeters this case supports decent clearance options for its size which is 450 millimeters long 230 millimeters wide and 450 millimeters tall internally the frame is completely open no psu basement which is kind of unfortunate but that could have the possibility of interfering with clearance since this case does support a standard ATX power supply. Inside you have room for either micro ATX or mini ITX boards, one 3.5 inch drive in the back, and two 2.5 inch SSDs. SSD installation includes mounting on these provided rubber mounts onto the drive and locking the rubber mounts into place within the frame. HDD installation is standard by screwing in the drive into the removable mounting plate located in the rear of the chassis. The front I.O. cables are mostly standard with the exception of the RGB fan controller. The controller takes three different different standard 4-pin RGB cables and converts them into a single header to be plugged into your motherboard RGB header. The three RGB cables come from the two fans in the front and the RGB LED on the top of the case. The LED is really cool looking and the plate above the LED allows for a soft ambient glow that spills out from the edges. A very nice aesthetic touch in my opinion. Installation is mostly standard with the PC case but the only major off-putting aspect is the GPU installation. This case comes with four expansion slots that are snap-offs. I usually find snap-off expansion 
expansion slots on cheaper PC cases. I would have liked to have seen a better quality installation method. Other than that, installation was fairly simple. Cable management is actually well executed for a micro ATX case. There's 28 millimeters of space in the rear for cables, which is more room than a lot of ATX cases that I've reviewed, believe it or not. There's cable routing holes in all the appropriate places. There's large cutouts that are in the front, middle, and rear of the case up on top, which allow for a lot of flexibility, and those same cutouts are present on the bottom of the case as well. There's a cutout on the front and top panel for your fans, and the rear wall has a fair amount of tie downs for the amount of wall space that is available. Airflow on this case is... Mm okay at best i guess there's at least ventilation coming from the top and from the front of the case it's not much but it's better from what i've seen from the likes of the master box like 5 and 3.1 there's a less expensive variant called the q300l which has excellent ventilation and massive magnetic dust filters i believe cooler master has made some effort for ventilation with this case coming from the master box like 5 and 3.1 building with the case was mostly standard for any build although if you have a large cpu cooler i would recommend installing it after after everything is plugged into the motherboard also do the same with your GPU as well installing the top mounts of fans can go either on the outside or inside of the case just remember to do it before the CPU cooler is installed also I wanted to show off these new fans from Asia horse they're called rainbow Asia horse rainbow fans they're very appealing to me although the color is static the multicolor look is nice and vibrant they're fairly quiet but at full speed they do kind of get loud but this is not a PWM fan as the LED light does get brighter as the blades spin faster so that's also something to consider if you're interested in these there will be a link in the description below overall this is a really neat case but it does have some issues first of all airflow airflow is restricted here which isn't hard to notice but there is a trade-off for the see-through aesthetic on the front and on the top of the case unfortunately that sacrifice is airflow this case would be good at housing mid-tier and low thermal output components another thing is that some of the aspects of the build quality is questionable the expansion slots are break off which shouldn't be on a $70 case also in this price tier I do believe rubber grommets should be included as well. The last negative to this case is the size of it. The internal frame is micro ATX, but with the included handles, it has the same footprint as a mid tower. Of course, you can take off the handles if you just want the frame only. It's not really a negative, but it is worth knowing if you're just interested in the form factor of the case, not so much the handlebars. Obviously, the handlebars are going to protrude from the case. Otherwise, this case has a lot of things that I like. I'd rather trade the acrylic for something else personally, but the case does look really good in my opinion the handle construction is solid and makes this case very mobile there's plenty of space for the atx power supply and solid cable routing and cable management modular front io and three included fans two of which are rgb the fans are nothing to rave about of course but they are included which is nice in conclusion 70 dollars is a fair price there are certainly cases in this price range that are more competitive but the uniqueness of the q300p does deserve some recognition for it let me know if you guys want to see more small form factor pc parts i've started with the small form factor coolers and now we're diving into more of that type of territory so let me know if you all are interested in seeing that also if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this one consider subscribing and checking out the rest of the channel thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next one